Hi, this is Don the Mad Wizard Cole with a quick and brief uh, introduction into the RTML template transfer utility and basically how to upload templates from your computer to your store. I'm going to assume that you have installed the program and downloaded it from your store toolbox and installed it on your computer and then you go ahead and run it and you will see the screen uh, that we're showing right now. We're going to go through really quickly, field by field, what you're looking at so you can get things uploaded quickly. First and most important thing is this Yahoo user ID. This is basically the user ID that you upload and that you access your store with. You're basically going to put in the email address. You don't need the at yahoo.com, so it's just the first portion is your actual ID. In our case, it's your store wizards. If you need to edit one or you need to add a new one, there are options in the drop down where you can put in the user ID, the password, and the secure password. The password and secure password are stored on your computer and encrypted and only sent to Yahoo to log into your account. It's not sent anywhere else. So you're going to pick your Yahoo user ID. You're going to put in your store ID. If you don't know your store ID, we have a FAQ page on the toolbox site that goes on how to find it, but it's generally going to start with YHST dash and then a long series of numbers. If you have a legacy store prior to Merchant Solutions, it'll be an abbreviation you picked when you created your store. In the case of our store, it is RTML templates. Now once you've uploaded to a few stores, they will appear in this drop down folder to use, you're going to go find the folder where you have downloaded the RTML, either that you got from the toolbox site or elsewhere. Basically, as you navigate to the folder, you'll see the templates listed on the right side, so you can hit OK. We're going to tell it that we want to upload, and then we're going to click, and it will read all the templates in that folder. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out which ones we want to upload. And to do this, you can basically select them and hit the single arrow to the right to move them over. Or you can simply double click on them or use the double double arrows to move all of them over. I'm just going to upload the one YSW is item. We can check the box that we want to overwrite existing templates. So when it uploads to the store, if it sees a template of that name, it will automatically delete it and recreate it with this new template. If you don't check it, then it will ask when it finds that there's already a template by that same name. Show errors will show more errors and more error information when it has a problem. Generally, you don't need to. Shutdown when complete allows you to put an email address and have the computer shut down and notify you when it's completed. Search subfolders has to do with if you have templates in subfolders. Generally, you're not going to use this a whole lot, but it's an option. And then you can have it change the template prefix. You notice our templates all start with YSW. Let's say I wanted this one to go from YSW, and I want it instead to start with YSTB for your store toolbox. This will now change it in the template name that it uploads. It will also change it in any calls to that template in the templates we're uploading. If you have existing templates, it doesn't change the ones that are sitting up on your store. All we have to do, click Upload Templates. It will then go into your store. Now in the bottom, you'll see it acting and moving and going through the pages, but you'll notice you don't see any images. That's intentional. It's not a problem. It's done intentionally to speed up the upload process. So it will now go through and you'll see it actually creating each command individually, uploading into the store. Now in the bottom here, you're going to see transfer points, and you're going to see an upload status. Upload status gives you an idea as to how far along it is in that template. Transfer points has to do with the points used to upload. You buy points, one point is one template, but if you have a Your Store Toolbox membership, then it costs nothing. You get unlimited points, that's for why it shows 9,999 transfer points. When the upload's complete, you'll see a box that says this. You hit OK, and you're done. It'll come back to the Small Business page, and you will basically see the stores you have access to. That's pretty much it.
nothing else to it. When it finishes each one, you'll see it move the move them from the right to the left. So at the end, you will hopefully see all of them back in the left. If there are any left in the right, that means it had a problem uploading, either a problem accessing the store or an issue in the template format, etc. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.